Recovering from an injury can be a long, rough road, we know, but Doreen Gensler has a report about a new technique that's helping patients get back in the game even faster. Right now, help for healing sports injuries. Yeah, Doreen Gensler has new details on a new device that uses a video gaming system to help athletes with their injuries. Doreen? Hey, Jim, Pat, it's an idea that really makes a lot of sense. The device uses cameras so that therapists can get a close look at how a patient is healing. They say it's not only helpful with getting a patient back on the field, but also in preventing injuries from happening in the first place. Basketball I play every day. At, at least once a day, maybe twice. 17 year old Jake Coons loves playing sports and basketball is his favorite, but his season was cut short last year after he tore his ACL. I like pushed off and then that's when I like heard the pop. Jake had surgery to repair the torn ligament in his knee and then he faced weeks of rehabilitation. Jump as high as you can. But when therapists were ready to check his progress, they used this device. It's called PhysioMax. It helps them get a bird's eye view to see where he's made progress in his recovery and where he still needs help. These studies have shown that if you can isolate what risk factors are there and potentially show the athlete and eliminate them. John Jowers is a physical therapist with MedStar NRH Rehabilitation Network. He says using the same cameras found in an Xbox video game system, the PhysioMax device records the patient performing a series of tests. That technology creates a digital image of the skeleton, which helps therapists identify problems with alignment. We can assess aspects of their landing technique, freeze frame it, slow it down, and then assess if there are any risk factors that put him at a risk for injury. Here, Jowers is looking at how Jake lands when he's jumping, something he does over and over when he's playing basketball. Jowers is able to really look at every aspect of his landing to see if his knees are drifting outward, legs are locked, or if his feet turn the wrong way. If he finds any issues, then he can prescribe specific exercises to help Jake fix any misalignments. That can help him heal and it can prevent further injuries. Jumping is like, was, it's the hardest on your legs. Like it's the hardest activity to do. After nearly six months of physical therapy, Jake's ACL is healed and he's back on the court. Good news for this six foot five high school senior because he hopes to play ball in college. He says he's still getting back in the game, but all that therapy has left him feeling better than ever. My leg is better than it was before I got hurt. He looks like quite an athlete to me. NRH is using this device not only with injured athletes, but also as part of their overall program to prevent injuries from happening. Right now they've used it with everyone from professional sports teams, including the Baltimore Ravens, to college and high school teams, testing players to see if they have any misalignments or potential issues that could cause them to get injured in the future. Jim, it's a great way to use a video game technology. Yeah, very cool. And 6.5 is a whole lot to land on. Too. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it is. Thanks a lot, Doreen. Uh -huh.